can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that x, y, and z are both natural numbers that satisfies this equation, x, y, z plus x, y plus y, z plus x, z plus x plus y plus z equals 384, then the goal in this question is to find the sum of x, y, and z. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given that x, y, and z are all natural numbers, meaning positive integers only, then the goal is to find the sum of x, y, and z. Now, in this type of question, what we're going to do is to factor out or to try to factor the left-hand side of our equation. And on the other side is a constant. So the goal is to factor this out. So let's get this equation and let's try to factor this equation. So first, let's factor the obvious. So given these two terms, we can factor out x, y. So if we do that, we get x, y multiplied by z plus 1. So this is our clue. So the goal is to have a factor of z plus 1. And take note, if we rearrange some terms a little bit, we can factor out x to these two terms and have z plus 1 also. And we can factor out y in these two terms and get a factor of z plus 1 also, like this. Now, they all have a factor of z plus 1 except for this c. So what we're going to do is to add 1 on both sides to have z plus 1. And on the other side, we have 385. So 384 plus 1 is 385. Now let's focus on this result. Now since those factors, those terms, have a factor of z minus 1, so we can factor out z minus 1, or z plus 1 rather. And from here, notice we can factor out x in these two expressions to get a factor of y plus 1. Now we also have a factor of y plus 1 here, so we can factor out y plus 1. So this will result to z plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 multiplied by y plus 1. Therefore, so since our goal is to factor the left-hand side, and we're done. So the only problem is the factored form of 385. And 385 is just 35 times 11 because 3 plus 5 is 8. So a multiple of 11. So 35 times 11 and 35 is 5 times 7. So this is 5 times 7 times 11. Now, and this is equivalent to z plus 1, x plus 1 times y plus 1. And take note, since x, y, and z are all natural numbers, we can write 5, 7, and 11 as 4 plus 1, 6 plus 1, and 10 plus 1, which tells us that z can be 4, x can be 6, y can be 10. And of course, we can use the permutation of 4, 6, 8 for the values of x, y, and z. But we don't care to the value of x, to the value of y, or to the value of z. We care to the sum of x, y, and z. And if we get the sum of x, y, and z, sure enough, we get 4 plus 6 plus 10, and that is equivalent to 20. And that is our answer. To this question. Therefore, given that x, y, and z are all natural numbers that satisfies this equation, then the sum of x, y, and z simply equivalent to 20. And as always, we are done.